Look, you can actually take the trend lines here in Davos and it's all about AI. And for TSMC, it's a lot about AI as well. We saw a very difficult couple of years. We saw inventories become out of control for a number of handset makers and PC device makers. And it started to affect TSMC, even though it held up relatively well compared to others. But as you listen to what the world's leaders are saying and the CEOs of the largest companies in the world, this event was all about AI and TSMC is perfectly positioned to benefit from that. There's an insatiable appetite for low power, high performing chips that are gonna be able to enable AI on devices. We'll talk more about that. And then of course, in the data center. So you, you, know, you have to look at how it's gone over the last couple of quarters and it's been tough, but we are just about to hit an inflection. It'd be really hard to bet against the impact that AI is about to make and what that means for TSMC. Yeah, and TSMC, I mean, that, that's really the top of the food chain, is it not? I mean, uh, without their chips, nothing uh, basically works, right? Not even, I guess, uh, or maybe even not uh, Samsung smartphones. They're apparently launching a couple of models with which are going to be AI uh, enabled. But Dan, I know where you are at uh, the World Economic Forum. Uh, one of the big questions that people are uh, debating with regards to AI is monetization. How do you make money? from this thing, right? Is it the consumer? Is it enterprise? Is it military? Uh, is it what? what? What are you hearing? And what do you think personally? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of trend lines that are sort of intersecting right now. Of course, there's a lot of talk here about safety and privacy and responsibility. As we saw how quickly ChatGPT proliferated to hundreds of millions of users, there is a difficulty between regulators being able to develop the type of policy required and then enterprise and then, of course, consumer companies building products and services using AI. We've got elections coming. We've got you know everyday products and social media. We have enterprise applications. We've got text building, image building. We've got proprietary and intellectual property rights concerns. And so we've seen obviously the chip makers, so TSMC, NVIDIA, uh, AMD, Intel, and companies that are in this space, ARM, have all benefited because there's this training era that took place throughout 2023. But I believe 24 is about this implementation era I uh, had the chance to hear from Satya Nadella this week, and Satya talked a lot about what's going on with their co-pilot. And that, for instance, at $20 per user with X hundreds of millions of users, you start to see a monetization strategy of adding features, whether it's on a device or in software, that someone will pay for that creates benefits of productivity and efficiency. And that was another really big talk when it came to the economic value of AI. 